Maybe we shouldn't have tagged the... Oh, there you go. Oh, Lord, here we go. We lie? Are we lying? We about to go Miami Eve. Hey, everybody. We not live yet, are we? Is they live on Facebook? Well, I don't, I don't see me. Hold on, I must need to get on Zoom. Oh. <laughs> we on? Yes, we are. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Oh, my goodness. We just had the most magnificent show. Yes. Oh, my goodness. I am still laughing that I, my, my head is thumping. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So let me tell you about what, what just happened. Okay, so we were doing our BWIF radio show, right? And we decided that we're tired of the, you know, the pen talking about the pandemic, talking about, you know, uh, what 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 is it? All the stuff that's been going on, politics, school, everything, school closure, school opening. Oh, just all the stressful stuff. And so we decided to do something funny, 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 funny. Yes. So Joan reached out to our new friend. Yes, our new friend. Yes. And so we invited Lionel Dalton on the show. And he is a comedian that is based out of LA. And if I tell you, he set that show on fire. It was on fire. It was oh on fire. fire and going higher. <laughs> Oh my God, I couldn't even talk, you guys, because he just had me laughing the whole time. And that's exactly what we wanted, right, Joan? Yes, it, it was a lot. It was a lot. <laughs> he really gave us some pointers um, on how he gets ready for a show, um, how he's doing during COVID. I mean, you know, the Bible says that uh, laughter is medicine for the soul. And I tell you, we laughed so hard. I cannot wait till they see <laughs> You guys, you you must tune in for this show because if you if you're tired of the news and you're tired of all the stuff that's going on and you just want some you just want a break from all that, mm -hmm. then tune in and you will get the laugh of your life, right? Laugh out loud. Laugh. Oh yeah, definitely it was a laugh out loud moment. Laugh out loud moment. And we want to guys, we want to remind you that we do have a uh, internet talk show, um, Gospel Galaxy uh, Radio. Um, it comes on, our show comes on every second and fourth Saturday. Um, so this Saturday, we won't be speaking to Lamel, but we'll be speaking to Bill Steinhoff. He's in yes. Edison, and he's kind of giving us pointers on um, when we return back to school um, and uh, some very, uh, valuable information on how the teachers are going to repair when the children come to school. How are they going to uh, keep the uh, the area clean and safe mm -hmm. in the environment? Mm -hmm. And uh, and so it was it's a really enlightening show. So you might want to tune in this Saturday at one o'clock. Um, mm -hmm. And and then the next person we're gonna the following Saturday, the following after that Saturday, then it's Lionel Dalton. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you know what, I want to kind of go back to um, Bill, the educator, because not only is he talking about, you know, the, how our children, you know, returning back to school and it being safe, but he's also talking about how the teachers plan to keep them motivated and to really look after our children during a time that's, you know, new and totally different from what they're, they're used to. And so that's very, very important. So I suggest that all the parents that are out there, you need to tune in to this show. I mean, because, you know, he's really, he's really given a lot of good pointers. Hi, Dolores. Hi, Dolores. Yes. And um, Bill also stated that he was really concerned about the children um, being at home and uh, going to school online because some of those children are in really bad situations where is that they're not getting fed at home and um, the parents has to work and this is a lot of it's a lot of things that goes on behind the scene that we don't know about um, so this is why he rather that the, the parents made the decision for their child what was best for their child whether they should go to school or not you know mm -hmm. so he, he you know he, he really came he really uh, 
opened our eyes on a whole lot of things that uh, parents actually need to know. So you need to watch, you listen to that show, you know, listen up on Saturday, one o'clock. And even though he had that different perspective, you know, because he felt like a lot of kids are, you know, neglected at home. That's the, that's the word that he used. Um, and, and he was saying that, you know, some kids, they don't eat, you know, without the lunch meal, you know, and so he was really concerned about those kids returning back to school. And the thing is, is that there is an option right now. You can either do it online or you can send your kids back to school. And so he was saying, you know, as parents, let's make the best choice for our children. And, um, and we asked, asked him, him, the question. We asked hmm? him the question, he was afraid. And he said, yes, as a teacher, yes, they are afraid to go mm -hmm. back, but mm -hmm. they have to make a difficult decision. You know, he's stepping out of the role of an educator and he's stepping into the shoes of a uh, counselor. Um, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and so his heart, you know, he stated that his heart breaks because um, those kids are going to have a hard time um, with catching up, you know, with school and things like that. So it's, it's, it's really inspiring. And then we want to tell you guys about my diary. Oh, yes. <laughs> let's talk. Let's talk. You know, I, I think I, I really want to say something about that because, you know, um, growing up as a young girl, I had a diary and it helped me a lot to mold me into the person that I am because I felt like that was my getaway time. I can express myself. I can say what I want to say, you know, um, and when I would get, you know, depressed and things like that, I would write in my, in my diary and I would write all the things that I felt and, and, and it, 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 it was a release for me. And so, um, with, this my diary not only are is it about just journaling there's so many other fun things that our young girls um need to be exposed to and so this is this is a win-win situation i mean it's free <laughs> let's yeah, start with that that's one. it's free <laughs> and and it's it's positive if you're putting your your daughters in a positive environment in order for them to express themselves to have fun to learn how to socialize with other girls and um you know and learn from their experiences and so joan i'll let you say a little bit about it yes and we're actually reintroducing how we write in the diary a lot of times you know when we were growing up it was all about secrets oh my boyfriend and it was all right. about your boyfriend and it was all about uh how i feel about him and we got our first kiss but this is not that so mm -hmm. this is more like uh creative writing this is more mm -hmm. like us teaching you how to uh, gain life skills and how to hold the conversation, um, uh, self-discovery, you know, who you want to be when you grow up. Mm -hmm. uh, we also um, uh, uh, teaching the kids to uh, create a vision board, just mm -hmm. as we do. They need to have one as well um, because, you know, you got to put it before them. You know, you write the vision, you make it plain so that when they can go back and look at it, they can run with it. So uh, I had three diaries. <laughs> oh, wow. And I, okay. and, I remember, and I remember this yellow one because the yellow one had a lot of good stuff in there. And I had a little <laughs> key to it. And I used to always hide it. Me and my uh, two sisters, we had diaries. And um, but back in the day, you know, your mom never told you what to write in it. And there was no other options other than writing about your emotions. So we didn't write about activities. We didn't write about the events and the experience, the great experience that mm -hmm. we didn't write about uh, what we want to be when we grow up. So it was all about, you know. Right. Yeah. So Places we want to go, you know. Yeah. I think I think our young um, girls they need to know you know you know what, what where would I like to travel you know what would I like to see they need to learn those experiences and be able to put it all together you know and why not start it right there with a diary you know yes um, and, and and you know back in the day you know uh, the aunties would actually get involved and buy the diary for you. And right. so now, but we have today, we want, we would, we are really challenging our aunties to step up and help their sisters um, mm -hmm. with their children and their daughters. Um, and so this is all, this is only for female uh, from nine to 13. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, we're thinking about doing 14 to 18, but that's going to come after we finish the first process and see if those young girls, those teenagers will be interested in that. And then we'll move to journaling. Um, mm -hmm. 
So, so, so it's a great opportunity to enroll them on our page at Brilliant Women in Film. No, we will not be knowing their stories. It's their diary. It's their story. You know, so right. it's their That's thoughts. Right. Um, mm -hmm. So we won't know anything. We're just going to help them um, move right along and what to write in their diaries and mm -hmm. expand <laughs> their imagination. You know, yes. and write something. Yes. And you know, mm -hmm. Timmy, you know, had a first kiss. So yeah, it's going to be very different. Mm -hmm. Yes, very different. And mm -hmm. then we're also celebrating that we just got out of the writer's room. <gasps> Speechless, right? Yes. We, mm, okay. We've been in a writer's room. Go ahead, go ahead, Nicole, go ahead, go ahead. Well, how long have we been in a writer's room? It's three been months. Month. Been three three months. months in the writer's room. Every Sunday. Every Sunday for three months. So you already know we were not playing. We, we not were playing. what? Serious. And if I tell you it's juicy Ooh. in the writer's room. <laughs> so I, I you know, I come I want to just commend the women writers, mm -hmm. even our students that yes. have over the course of time during the three months, we have seen their growth on the last mm -hmm. episode. And um, mm -hmm. oh my God, it is amazing. Like, you know, you would have someone to write uh, three, one page and then you they, they're moving to two pages and now they're on three and now they can pretty much do an episode. And so mm -hmm. that's what happens in the writer's room when the, the, our creativity comes together. And mm -hmm. um, we're not writers just to be writing. No, we're writing with the purpose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so there's a lot of messages in there. There's a lot of... Um, things that that need to be addressed mm -hmm. um and and we just want to provoke thought we want to you know people to look at these um episodes and just think about it start some conversations and let's grow from that mm -hmm. you know and 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 definitely um these episodes ooh wee <laughs> the juice fire yeah, not this. You you're not gonna find this nowhere. So that's why we're not. That's why we're secretive and we're holding it next to our heart because it's very dear to us. And uh, mm -hmm. we want to make sure um, that you get the the full experience of what mm -hmm. it's about. And you know what? I want to take time out and commend all the women that were in the in the writers' room because they say women can't do it together and uh, women, uh, you know, this and women that. Honey, three months every sunday every we sunday. were together we did our thing we had fun and we accomplished and completed our goal yes hello yes <laughs> yes okay that was a message just coming in from lamarcus tinker he says that he's gonna sponsor five of our girls oh he's gonna sponsor five he's yeah thank you okay <laughs> available sign your daughter up please please sign them up and I mean, yeah, yeah go ahead if you guys don't uh know lamarcus tinker he is he is our number one supporter anything that brilliant women in film is doing he just jumps on board i love him i love him i love him we love him we, we love him we work with him we, and we, we don't play now you're going to yes. go and Oh, he don't play. He don't play. Now you're going to get to jump. But you know what? <laughs> he be on it, though. I mean, his work is um, amazing. You know, that's all I can say. I, I, I learned so much from him. Yes. And that was only a short period of time. And I have changed every dynamic of what I do based on observing him. Yes. Okay? Absolutely. Yes. But he's he's amazing. Best. One of the best. He's one of mm -hmm. the best. Mm -hmm, he's mm -hmm. a director, he's a writer, he's an entrepreneur, and there are so many things that's brewing right now. And I just um I we, you know, I just want to just thank him for just always every time we do something with brilliant mm -hmm. women in film, he said, Hey, what are y'all doing? I got it. You know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if we had more women out there, uh mothers that you want to give uh to us, you can go to our page, which is uh right on girls group. And that we're taking donations so we could be able to get 
um, the diary and the, the, the diary, the, the poster board, uh, you know, the uh, writing utensils and things like that for our daughters. So we mm -hmm. want to make, please make sure you go and you donate, and that would be great. The, the, the girls are going to love it, and you aunties and you, you and aunties and uncles, you know, if you're a male and you got nieces, we want you to sign them up. Call your sister. Yes. Mm -hmm. all your niece and look mm -hmm. sign them up you're not mm -hmm. you're dealing with real women who are going to actually teach them real substance you know mm -hmm. uh, things that's going to help them grow and become better women in the world that we're living in today despite covid mm -hmm. despite, <laughs> despite COVID. covid so please sign them up and then we want to tell you about uh our film festival oh coming up uh, online film festival august the 22nd at seven o'clock you want to go to our page uh our social media page brilliant women in film um uh, i think it's multi award winning brilliant women in film brilliant women in film mm -hmm. yeah and mm -hmm. you go ahead and um register and we'll, we'll you know the link is the, we're gonna um have a link there where's that you can come on and join us as we watch the movie so because of covid we had to switch it around we had to do something mm -hmm. else do it online for, for the safety of our supporters. We want to make sure we, we, we protect you guys and protect ourselves but, and our family. Right. And But the key thing to that is you can join us. So make sure yes. that you log on and, 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 and join us, have fun, and let's watch some movies. Yes, October 22nd at seven o'clock. And these this were some good uh, movies that was actually uh, submitted to the film festival. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, we had some that was very interesting, just totally different. You you wouldn't even expect something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and and so if you're looking for different, make sure you join us. Yes, make sure you join us. All right. So do we get everything out? I think we did. I think we did. I think we covered everything. Okay. All right, guys. Well, We'll see you guys later and tune in Saturday on our talk show. Yes, we're with Bill, with the Bill. educator. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Bill, that's, it has a ring to it. Bill the educator. Bill the educator. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Nicole, for your time. We, we had a great time tonight. We did, we did. And I thank you for your time. I mean, I, I had a wonderful night. I, I, I appreciate you getting Lionel on the show so we could laugh. Yes. And, uh, and my head is gone. I needed that. It's gone? Yes, it's gone. <laughs> I think what happened was you got so much excitement at one time and it was like a rush. And so it created a, a headache because we haven't been, we haven't been laughing. You know, we really haven't. Yeah. So, um, and we but it was, it was a good headache. You know? It was a good headache. And so we want to pray yeah. for all the founders out there that you guys remain yeah. safe. Take care of yourself, mm -hmm. practice, practice safe uh, distancing and um, go to our website, brilliantwomeninfilm.com and check us out and see what we got going on. And don't forget, if you have a script, you know, hey, you need to give us a call before we get back into the writer's room. We only have a month off. Yes. So make sure you get it in. www.brilliantwomeninfilm.com. There you go. All right, guys. Bye. 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 Bye bye, bye 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 bye. Listen to the show and you'll know why we sung it that way. <laughs> Good night, guys. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>